why it is valuable to provide curator with flow information. So first of all, this is a view of the network activity tab where you see the standard flows coming. And what you see are data like source IP, destination IP, port and destination port, uh, the, the, the type of interface, the type of application, and, and why would that be useful? Let me actually go into the offenses tab to show you that. Let's actually look at one offense in here. We're going to see several uh, things that would have not have trigger if you would have not have the flows in here. And that's the value of this. So for example, in this particular case, this is a combination of a rule that fires or an offense that fires on rules for uh, events or logs and flows. And notice that uh, this is uh, typically logs, multiple login failure. But this one, detected port scan by a foreign host, this is specifically something that you wouldn't see unless you see the flows. Let's actually go there and I'm switching between the new UI, the dark UI, into the uh, traditional one because this mode is not available at the moment of this recording. So notice that this is an IP in China and that's actually scanning my ports for, and, and it's doing some sort of a strange thing that like instead of going sequentially they're actually alternating the ports to avoid detection. Well, you're not going to fool QReader on that because QReader sees that this type of activity is precisely what uh, it is, is being done when, when a, somebody's doing a, bones, a port scan on your network. And before I show you more examples of the things that you can detect with flows, I'm here in the use case manager to see the most valuable thing in QReader in my view, which are the, the its rules and I have 835 rules in my demo system. And if I want to see which of these rules, actually notice that here in the type, these are from logs, but if I want to see the type of rules that fire on flows, and just that, on just pure flows, and I can actually put lows, uh, logs and flows, let me add those, and see how many of those rules are actually dealing with that. And we had 173 rules. So notice remote flow TCP, notice the subject, remote scanner as we saw an example, Windows server scanner, RPC traffic, and the list goes on and on and you know they can go on for 12 pages of things that you will not be able to catch unless you will have that feed in your system. You may say well I have another system that catches flows and, and analyze the flows. There are tools in the market that do that. Yeah, but you need to look into screen one and screen two. You in curator for the logs, that tool for the flows, and correlate mentally that the two things are related. That doesn't happen. In a rule, as, as we saw in here, where you have logs and flows working together, in a one screen, you can actually put those two pieces together. Let's go actually back to the offenses and see another example of this. Let's take a look at this offense. This offense has a actual rule that says, well, I see, you know, Telnet or SSH traffic on a non-standard port. You may say, well, why is that so, so important? Well, let's actually take a look at the flows. And, and these are things that are, are anomalies. Notice that the port is not 22, but 9022. And Curator is very good at finding anomalies, things that are not standard, because those are normally the prelude of an, an attack of somebody doing things like this might be FTP or you know all the traffic. And Curator, by virtue of the port, can actually see what type of protocol is actually being used with standard flows. I'm going to go more into the details when I talk about uh, Q and I and the payload. But uh, these standard flows tells you a lot. You can actually do server discovery by just saying, well, this thing is using the port that is used by email traffic, so it might be most likely an email type of application uh, without bringing the scan data into Curator, which you can also do and complement that information. So this, this information can be used for detecting several things that are not, uh, uh, that are the prelude again of uh, a more sophisticated attack. Let's see another example this one. Large outbound transfers, slow rate of transfer preceded by upsell file has associated with malware. I mean, how does Curator know what is a large amount of transfer or, or, or a small amount of transfer? Well, 
remember that in the in the uh, traffic uh, tab that we saw in the network activity there is a field for amount of traffic being sent. Let's actually go there and show you that. So here Curator can see the amount of traffic actually going in there by virtue of just looking at the headers of the TCP IP traffic. We can identify things that are command and control type of thing in which you send some data but nothing comes back like they're saying to the, to the boss, hey, do you have anything for me? No reply. Do you have anything for me? No reply. So uh, there are many things that can be actually detected by uh, you can know whether a lot of, of little information was actually exfiltrated or not by uh, these things, uh, these fields being actually monitored. So if you, if you remember, as seconds ago, I showed you that we have 173 rules that works with flows in my demo system. But as you know, in Curator App Exchange, there are many packages. In fact, way too many now. More than 250 of those at the moment of this video. It's been recorded, so uh, I want to add more stuff into it. Well, just to do it in a crude way, let me actually go here into one of the filters and say, you know what? Show me everything that is not installed that exists in those content extension or those apps in the App Exchange. And that number goes from 173. Let's see how far it goes. It's making an API call, it's at 370. So there are even more rules that I can add into my system to make it work more the value of the actual flows and again main value is there are all the technologies that can do this but I believe that Curator is the only one that does it in a single console that it treats flows the way that flows should be treated which is different from from logs but you get the combination of the information that both bring into a single console and I have not spoken yet that will be a separate video on the value of inspecting the payload when you add Q&I to this mixture.